painting with vegetables. For this painting technique, you will need, obviously, vegetables. You basically need to make stamps out of different vegetables and fruit. For a forest scene, I will be using broccoli, but even better is to use cauliflower, which I didn't have at home. Potato is perfect for cutting out whatever shapes you want. Don't be shy and try out onions, peppers, cabbage and more. Of course, you will also need paint, a knife, paintbrushes or a sponge, a cutting board, some napkins and paper to draw on. Let's start! I'm cutting off and keeping the leaves as well. One piece of broccoli can be enough for the project, but you may use a couple to get slightly different shapes. Just cut them in half and that's it. You have a tree shape stamp. You can also cut the whole thing in half to get one big stamp. But that can be a waste of food. Here I have an end of a zucchini, which has an interesting shape as well. Then potatoes, cut them in half and you have a canva to create any stamp you want. It may not be so easy to cut round shapes at the beginning. Maybe use a pencil to draw a shape uh, you want to cut out. Just experiment. I cut out a smiley face, a poor, not so pretty sun, a cloud, a bird, and some sort of stone mountain shape. I also had a carrot at home and I didn't know how to use it. I guess I can draw tree trunks with it. Just need to prepare the paint and let's go. You will need to apply paint quite generously, but that of course depends on what paint you're using. I have acrylic paint, it's not very runny. I like to mix two colors, so then I get some sort of shading. But unfortunately I will not achieve this in this example. So yes, broccoli will be my main trees, then I have these leaves, put some paint on and get another kind of tree. Then zucchini comes in, creating something like a palm tree. And slowly it's beginning to look like a jungle forest. Here I have that rock shape, paint it in different color and get an ugly looking foreground. This bird stamp will hopefully make the scene better. Bams, bams, done. Next one. I will try to make pretty clouds mixing blue and white colors. Music 
I like this much better already. Sometimes if you don't like the result of one stamp, for example, like here it's too pale, you can put another copy on top, just adding a different color. My favorite shape I made is a bird. But if you don't have any ideas what shapes to cut out from potato, go to Google and write potato stamps. There are many creative and lovely looking examples there. I first tried this painting method in primary school and it stuck with me for life. I still think it's pretty cool to cut out your own stamps and just have fun. For those who want a minimalistic work of art, next will be just plain half of broccoli. using printing paper which wrinkles when it dries out but if you use artistic paper you can even frame it and put it on your wall and again if I had a cauliflower I think it would be a nicer tree like shape at the end I thought what else I could cut out and decided to make a flower petal this one is really easy and can look cool when you mix different colors together. Forgot to tell you that these potato stamps are easily reusable, you can wash or wipe them. But don't keep them for too long, otherwise the vegetables will rot. 